This video is brought to you by Terra Farming. Thank you for being a farm baron. Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of a new series I'm calling Hoff Bergman Explained. This series is going to cover all of the unique aspects of the Hoff Bergman 1.0.0.8 map by Farmer Andy. This map recently was released over at ls-farmingmods.com. I will leave a link in the description below. And also, I have to say, this map is probably arguably one of the most innovative maps to ever come out for Farming Simulator. I go back as far back as Farm Sim 17, so I don't have a huge history, but I have to say, I could probably argue that this is the most innovative map to come out for Farm Sim to date. Now today we're gonna to do a dairy cow primer. So everything you think you know about cattle in Farm Sim 19, forget, because it is completely different on Hoff Bergman with or without seasons. And no, it is not because of Maze Plus, because quite frankly, this map is listed as not supporting Maze Plus because it has its own unique silage system. So this map includes several different types of cattle. We have bulls. That's right. We have real male cattle. We have young bulls. We have cattle that are available for breeding. We have calving cows and we have dairy cows. So without further ado, let's go and take a look. We're down here at the animal dealer. Let's take a look at all of the cattle options. So we have for three for four thousand dollars. Sorry, we have cow black white calving. Now these cows are going to produce actual offspring, actual calves. Okay, these are not going to be used for milk production. These are going to be used for calving. Then we have the typical black and white cow, the brown cow the brown and white cow, and the black cow. These are for milk production and for reproduction, but they will not produce calves, okay? They'll just multiply. Then we have young bulls, black and white. These are boy cows. Then we have young bulls, brown. Young bulls, brown and white. And young bulls, black. These are male cows. They do reproduce, so they multiply, and they are only good for beef. So these are beef cattle. Then we have breeding bull. This big boy is $10,000. His job is to um, produce cow juice, let's just say, and we will use that cow juice to literally manually inseminate our black and white calving cows. So they will then later produce calves. That's right. Hoff Bergman includes actual physical insemination of the cattle. So we're going to cover that aspect in a different video because that is something all of its own that needs to be covered. But let's take a look at some of these models. So back here in the back stall, we have our male cows, our bulls, if you will. So we have our black young bull. We have our black and white young bull, our brown young bull. And then basically the breeding bull is a bigger variant of these. We also have unique models for our other cows. So we have our brown cows, brown and white, black and white, and black cows. Now this map includes three cow pastures, one cow barn, two cow pastures, I should say, and then includes three bull areas. Let's just call it that. Now let's go take a look at all three of those 
and we'll talk about the food requirements of each. The first cow area we're going to look at in some detail is the main cow barn up here at the main farm. That is what we're looking at here. If you take a look at the map, you can see here is the main farm. We'll zoom out a little bit. We were down here at the animal dealer over here by Big Field 17. Now we are at the main farm here at the cow barn. Uh, this particular pen will hold 30 cattle. You can put normal milking calves in here. So those would have been the black and white, the brown and white, the brown and the black cows. Or you can put your calving cows in here. Now, visually, the only difference between calving cows, the black and white calving cows, and the brown and white, brown, black, or black and white normal cows is the calving cows include an X on their left hind quarter. So we have 10 calving cows in this particular pen at this moment, and that's why you see the red X on the left hind quarter of all of these cows. Let's take a look at the animal menu. Here we have cow stable farm. That's the particular pen we're in now. We have our calving cows in this particular pen. And you'll see that cows in the main cow stable farm, they're gonna require straw, no water. They are self watering cows. And then they have some food requirements. Now for 100% effectiveness, we can give them mixing ratio or mixing ratio wrapped. This is the equivalent of total mixed rations. So it's kind of been renamed on the map. It's called mixing ratio, but think of this as TMR. For 85% effectiveness, you could feed them just maize silage or silphile silage. This is a new crop that is available on Hoff Bergman 1.0.0.8. You could provide spent grain or beet chips, again, for 85% effectiveness. You could feed them grass silage or silphile chopped for 75% effectiveness. And you could feed them grass, clover, hay, or hay pellets for 50% effectiveness. Now you'll see in this particular pen, you could have your standard cows that are gonna reproduce on their own, or as I said, our calving cows, which will not reproduce on their own. We do have to manually inseminate these cows. And that's gonna be a video all on its own. We have manure, slurry, and milk being produced here at the normal cow stable farm. So let's just take a look at some of the triggers. So we have our milk trigger here. Milking is gonna be a whole separate video because it is a unique process on Hoff Bergman, but we have our milk trigger here. We have our food trough. We have our calving pins over here that we're gonna cover in a separate video. And then we have our straw trigger, which we could basically put right there. Or if we run along this and have a trailer that unloads to the rear or to the left uh, in this particular orientation, then we can put our straw down right here. Around the back, we have our delivery point for this particular cow barn. And something to note is that you cannot walk up to this and activate it. You can only activate this marker with a cow animal trailer or with an animal trailer. You cannot just walk up to this and buy your cows directly. The only way to put cows in the pen is to either one, pick them up from the animal dealer with a trailer, bring them down here and unload them with a trailer or buy them from a laptop that is in the farmhouse in the kitchen. We're gonna take a look at that here in a moment. We have a location here to provide manure. Now, I understand we're supposed to be able to muck out these cow areas. So we likely are gonna to need to, in some of these areas, wait until some manure spawns in. But right here, you can see the manure for this particular barn. It's best to scoop out the manure here. And then, like I said, you can deposit it up in 
the pit up here. Now, slurry is kind of a unique aspect for this particular pin in that all of the slurry for both the cows and the pigs is stored down here in this big tank, this big hole in the ground. And what we have to do is we have to basically flip a switch, flip a valve, and fill this particular tank with slurry from either the cows or the pigs with this valve that's right here on this side. We'll walk up to this. We'll hit E to enter the valve. And then you can see we can left click to change the flow from the cow barn to the pig sty. And then we can hit R to start filling like so. And that in theory is going to put a little bit of slurry in this particular area. Probably isn't gonna work right now because we don't really have a lot to put in. Let's go down and take a look at the farmhouse and I'll show you where the trigger is to directly buy animals from the laptop. So down here at the main farm, main farmhouse, just down the hill, we'll go in the kitchen and then there is a laptop set up right here. And this is the only place that we can hit R and actually purchase animals directly into the cow pen. Any other way of buying animals, we're gonna to have to do it with a trailer and go down to the dealer and then bring them up to the animal area and then unload. Let's go ahead and just hop across the street and we'll take a look at cow pasture A, which is literally right here, right across the street from the main farm. This particular cow pasture will hold 30 cows and it is advised that you only put the normal cows in this particular pen because the calving cows cannot breed. They basically can't produce calves if they are in the open pastures. So here we have cow black and white as was defined in the shop. And we have 10 in here. You can have a maximum of 30. We have the feed ring. This is where we feed the cows. And I just came alongside here with a trailer and then side dumped into the feed ring. We have basically mixing ratio inside here at this point. The water for these cows is provided right here. Now I use animal pen extension mod, so I put these water pipes here. And then the drop off point for the cows or the pickup point for the cows is right there. And then we can use that to open it and close the fence. So let's take a look and see what the food requirements are and such for cow pasture A. Cow pasture A, as I said, has water and then has our food area in the food ring and all of the same normal food requirements that we saw up at the cow barn are gonna be here as well as the same feeding ratios. Now cows in this particular pen have the capability of reproducing and providing milk. Cows here do not produce manure or slurry. And you'll see that the normal cows, cow black and white, they reproduce on their own. With 10 cows, we're gonna get a cow every 120 hours, approximately. So let's go ahead and move on down to cow pasture B. Down the road a little bit from the main farm and actually down here by the sawmill, we have cow pasture B. Cow Pasture B is going to support up to 300 cows. And in here we have our brown and white cows in this particular pasture. I've only got 10 in here just for demonstration purposes. But right here by the road, we do have our delivery point again. So we can left click to open and close the gate. And again, you're not going to be able to deliver these unless you bring a animal trailer, like the small trailer we have right here or one of the other larger animal trailers to unload and pick up. Inside the pen, we do have a food trough and a water trough. So the water trough is located right here. Again, I use the animal pen extension mod, which is what gives me the blue pipe and the valve. And I have just chosen to place that over here. 
And then we have the food ring where we can deposit our loose material and possibly bales. I haven't tried bales, but I definitely was able to dump loose material again using a side dump into our feed ring. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what cow pasture B requires. So just like cow pasture A, we have water and then our food options. The food options are fairly standard for Hofbergman as well as the ratios. And just like cow pasture A, these particular cows will not provide you with manure or slurry. They will provide you with milk if you put in milking cows, the ones that are marked cow, and that would be white and black, brown and white, brown or black. And then they will also reproduce on their own. 10 cows, again, will reproduce approximately one cow every 120 hours. In addition to the cow barn and the two open cow pastures, we also have bull stables. And we're gonna run down and take a look at the three different bull stables that are available also on the map for housing our young bulls and our breeding bulls. We're down here at the breeding bull facility. This particular facility has three main buildings. Let's go ahead and show you where those are on the map. And we are now down here to the south part of the map. So pasture B, which is right here, pasture A, which is right there, and then the main farmhouse and the main cow barn at the farm. And then over here, again, we have the animal dealer. So down here is the bull area. So we have buildings one, two, and then three off in the distance. Buildings one and three are the same. Building two is a little unique in that building two does not have a pasture. And as such, this building has been identified and can be known to support the breeding bulls. So breeding bulls can go in here and interesting enough, calves can be put over here and they can have the opportunity to basically grow into breeding bulls. So we can create breeding bulls by having calves over at the main farm, cow barn, bringing the calves to here. And at this point we have room for six calves in the breeding bull barn, and they have the opportunity to grow into the breeding bulls. So again, we're gonna cover calving in a completely separate video. We're gonna cover um, manual insemination in a completely different video. Uh, this video is kind of just gonna be a primer on dairy cows in general on Hoff Bergman 1.0.0.8. So let's go ahead and take a look at the requirements here of breeding stable two. Right now we have four black and white breeding bulls in here. You'll see just like the cow barn over at the main farm, they require straw. And then it's showing straw pellets because I have the straw harvest add-on activated. And then we have our mixing ratio, our various silage, spelt and green or spent grain and beet chips, grass silage, silphile, grass clover, hay and hay pellets. All are the same percentages as we have seen in all the other animal areas. The breeding bulls, you'll notice, have no reproduction rate. These boys, they don't reproduce on their own. They aid in reproduction of other animals, but they don't reproduce on their own. They also are gonna be producing manure and slurry for us. So we have our food trough right here, and then our straw trigger. We can either drive through that part of the building to put down our straw, or if we have a side unloading trailer or a straw blower, we can just pull through here and blow the straw over across the fence. 
Now building one and three are effectively the same general layout. They do not have having areas. Here we have our food trough and then our straw trigger. Our slurry is gonna be on the outside of all of these buildings. And then one and three have pastures. All of these pins over here at the breeding area or the bull area are gonna support 100 bulls. Here we have black young bulls. Young bulls will never mature into breeding bulls. Sorry guys, you all have been, um, well, castrated, let's just say. They're not gonna be able to help aid in the reproduction, but interestingly enough, young bulls will reproduce, meaning that they will increase numbers. So they reproduce very slowly, but if you start out with just four young bulls, they will reproduce at a rate of one bull per 600 hours. So they will reproduce. They also will provide us manure and slurry, as I've already said. And young bulls, as I mentioned earlier, are only good for beef. And we're gonna expand on the whole beef aspect in a later video when we talk about beef production or meat production on the map with respect to the butcher. So here we have building three and building three also has a pasture, also has a capacity of 100. And in here we have our black and white young bulls. Okay, these are not the breeding bulls. These are the black and white young bulls. And just like building one, we have our food trough, we have our straw area. And all of these show manure, but I'm not seeing where the manure is yet. Maybe it's because we just don't have enough. It's not showing through the straw layer. But supposedly we are gonna have to muck out all of the manure in all of these particular areas. So guys, that is kind of an introductional primer to dairy cows here on Hoff Bergman 1.0.0.8. Again, we're gonna go into a lot more detail on the manual insemination of our calving cows and our use of the breeding bulls in a different video. We're gonna cover milking our dairy cows in a different video because that is also unique. And we're gonna cover calves in general in another video because also that is unique as well. So I hope you all liked this video. If you did, please go ahead and toss a like out there. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of our first video related to the Hoff Bergman Explain series? And let me know if there are certain topics you definitely wanna see covered in the Hoff Bergman Explain series in the comments and I will basically try to work that in to the schedule. There is a ton to cover on this map and uh, we will slowly be working our way through all of that. Big shout out to all of our farm hands, farm bosses and farm barons. If you're interested in joining the channel and becoming a farm hand boss or baron, you can do that by clicking the join button down by the subscribe button just below this video. And until next time, happy farming.